Sensors, Controllers, Industrial Automation. That's how IFM started in 1969. Today, the IFM group is still family-run, but with more than 6,000 employees in 70 countries. Machines and data on the one hand, the people on the other hand. How to make Industry 4.0 alive? This is what we like to talk about. Welcome to the Business Debate. Nadine Rahman, Thomas May, IFM started as a developer and producer of sensors. Meanwhile, your company has become a link in the digital value chain. What kind of evolution is that? Our journey, Industry 4.0, started 14 years ago. We introduced a sensor into the market that, based on the noise pattern, could detect the health of a machine. Now, in these days, there was one thing missing the, the connectivity to get the message across that something is going wrong with the machine and also the connectivity to get an expert involved in analyzing the machine. So you rightly refer to this as an evolution and we much prefer that term. Nowadays a lot of people talk about the fourth industrial revolution but the term evolution for us is preferable because it implies a step-by-step -step adaptation to the necessary change. These days are marked by tons of slogans, but when it comes to the point that it really has to work, what does Internet of Things definitely mean? That's a very good question. And I think when you ask different people, you will get a lot of different answers nowadays. For us, we are a technology provider in the business-to-business -business space. So we're actually focusing on IIoT or the industrial Internet of Things. And at the core of that for us is that we want to enable what we call CLUI, C-L-U-Y, context-based, location-based user information, meaning we want to enable people to make better informed decisions at the right time in the right place. So from your point of view, how radical are the changes for business with IoT? In future they can be very radical. Um, because we think that the um, machine can become the next smart device. So the machine will be connected and based on the connectivity, the machine will have access to experts on the one hand and on the other hand, the machine could get in touch with uh, suppliers or even with customers uh, for the product the machine is producing. And um, we, we see that this uh, interaction and this access of data can make a big difference for the business processes. But does it fit to your customers' expectations? Yeah, I think that customers, they are looking for improvements. Improvements means that they would like to produce more efficient, that they would like to um, use less energy in their production, and that they would like to increase the quality of their products. And um, our target is to provide exactly that with our solutions, to increase the productivity of the machines. Innovation sounds good, but what's the key, therefore? And innovation can't be an end in itself. As a provider of innovation, everyone needs to have their ear to the ground and listen to what their customers are saying. So you need to be very clear on what your market needs, when it needs it, and whether all the prerequisites are in place. For us, a good example was when we introduced our 3D sensors a couple of years back that we encountered as a roadblock the lack of bandwidth on the shop floor, which actually was a problem for us to successfully introduce this new technology at our customers. So in order to make innovation successful as a company, you need to look at various areas in your company, including governance. Do the leaders have a clear vision and an intentionality in what they are setting out to do and where their company is supposed to be in a couple of years time or 10, 20 years time? Is the organization flexible and dynamic to adapt to changes? And do we have a nurturing environment to generate new ideas and foster creativity in our teams? Do we have a collaborative approach? Can we work interdisciplinary and bring together people with different skills and experiences? Do we learn from our failures and are we sharing those learnings? 
And then also, are we measuring our success? Are we always looking back that what we set out to achieve, we have actually achieved? So to put it in simple terms, innovation is a lot more than just having a good idea. Nadine Rahman, Thomas May, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks thank for joining you. us. Join us next time at The Business Debate.